everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we're gonna be doing a Dior unboxing. I picked up a whole bunch of things. Some of them are new, some of them are relatively new, and uh, let's just go through it. Hey everyone. So if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know that I have fallen in love with the Dior quince. And I've done a video on all of them. I did a review video literally with every single one, comparing them and ranking them. And so I have been rediscovering Dior. Now I've used Luxury Makeup for a long time and I used Dior 20 years ago and you know I'm using it now. But they've reformulated a lot of things and they've come up with new formulations, new formulations in their lipstick, foundations. So today, um, I will put the picture above. I did post something on Instagram. I <laughs> picked up a few things, just a few things. There's a couple things in here that are, that are not in here that are missing. Um, and as soon as I have them, I will, I will let you guys know about those, but I don't have everything, but I didn't want to wait too long. Cause then I was like, well, who knows when we'll get here? Cause shipping is so weird. Um, okay, so first let's start with the foundation. I picked up the Forever Natural Nude Foundation. This is in 1.5N. And the reason I picked up the 1.5, I usually wear the 1CR. And they don't have 1CR in this formula, or at least not yet. I've looked and, um, and I've asked them and they don't have it. So, I picked up 1.5 because I was talking to some old friends and some other people at, at Dior and they seem to indicate that the 1.5 might be a little bit more peachy than the one. So I have a swatch above and I'm actually looking at it on my hand of the 1CR in the uh, Dior Backstage, which I have. So I have 1CR in this. And then the 1CR in this, which is the Forever Corrector. And then the 1.5N in this one. So you guys can see um, the similarities and differences. I also have the Dior Air Flash in 104, but it's such a different formula. I didn't wanna confuse them. So, and I can hold them up so you can see it, but I think that the camera, the picture I did in natural light, so I think it's better. But this is the 1CR in the backstage. This is the 1.5N, and this is the 1CR in the Forever Corrector. And so when I look at these, I feel like the 1.5, yes, it's definitely warmer than the CR, but I don't think it's gonna be that bad on me. We're about to find out, but I think it might work. We'll see, uh, let's, we'll get to that. Um, so I picked up three of the mono, we'll open them together, three of the mono shadows. Um, I picked up Poncho, Tool, and Gold Star. So Poncho and Tool, I will compare them to the um, Quince, so you guys can see that. I picked up the two new, so they, they reformulated their lip liners. Their old lip liners were not my favorite. <laughs> so I've heard good things about the new ones. Um, I have it in Saint Germain and Nude Look. No, New Look. No, Nude Look. I was right. Nude Look. Uh, I picked up three of the lipsticks. So I have different formulas. I have the Promenade in Satin, the Tutu in Metallic, and the Rouge Couture in Velvet. I have used the satin formula before. You've seen me use Dior lipsticks. I have not used the Velvet or the Metallic yet, so this will be fun. Uh, it was a little difficult to pick out on the site the shades because in my opinion, the Dior site, I got this all from Dior, is not great on shades. Like you look at the color and then you, you know, I have it in real life and I'm like, that is not the color. My suggestion to you is if you really like these, and if you like the shades that I pick out, great, you know, get one of those. But um, if you just like the formula or you're interested, go to your local Sephora if they carry, a lot of them do carry Dior or a counter uh, and like get a someone to help you. Because they might, you might not be able to put it on yourself, but they can show it to you, the shades, um, because the shade stuff is tricky. 
Then I got the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, no powder, everyone's talking about this, in 1N. And then I got the Dior Show uh, Iconic Over Curl Mascara in the blue, because I had to try it. I love this mascara in the black, so I had to try the blue. Uh, and there came little, like they always give you these little gifts. Um, and in this one, what's we got? We got, uh, Toba color, Toba color, Toba color <laughs> perfume, which I will try. And the D Capture Dream Skin. I think this is. I think it's a skincare. All right, we'll try it. We'll figure it out. Um, okay, so pulling my hair back. My roots. My my hair seems to be growing faster in quarantine. Is that even possible? I, mean, I thought I was like, well, you know, you get more sun in the summer, like your hair grows faster. But no, my my hair's growing faster indoors. I don't I don't know what's happening. It's very weird. Anyway. So excuse the roots, but it's only been three weeks and this, you know. Okay, um, so let's go and do the foundation first. Like I said, I had the swatches above. I'll do more swatches for you guys um, on Instagram. The one thing that's, that is definitely missing from this is the Veil Primer. I did order it, it is on its way. I don't know, there was an issue. I forget exactly what it was, but it's coming. And I'm gonna continue to try this stuff out anyway. I have that huge haul that I did the other day. I have all those things to try out, so don't get me, I mean, don't worry. Don't worry, there's plenty. Uh, plenty to, to keep us all busy. That is what the foundation looks like. It's not runny at all. <laughs> Run. Um, yeah, it seems pretty creamy. So you can see when I put it on my skin, it's definitely warmer than a lot of my foundations, but, 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 um, it's not, I don't think it's too dark. And this is 1.5. That's definitely not too dark. So, um, those of you who were also a one point, a one CR and you don't, you can't find your shade. I did not go to a two CR, although I might do that. Um, if I really like the foundation because two seemed a little too, like, I don't know. It just seems like a little too, um, deep, but maybe not. I mean, we've had this conversation about, you know, foundations and like how you figure out your shade. So I don't know. Two CR might be okay. Um, but let's just, let's try this one and see what we think. So, so far it feels nice. It has the, it has a scent. It's got that Dior scent. Um, it's like a floral. I'm putting it on with a brush, I mean with a sponge because my skin is just a little irritated today. I don't know exactly why, but does there need to be a reason? Um, pumping out a little more. I'm just gonna kind of put this here because like I said, my rosacea is acting up. I'm going, I'm going to try to make an appointment with my dermatologist to try to do some laser stuff soon. Um, okay, so this is the Forever Natural Nude Perfection uh, 24, 24 hour wear foundation. Sorry, I just, I just never believe that. Uh, concentrated floral skincare. So I guess that's the, the floral that I smell. Let's look. Okay, so it says lightweight foundation, 24 hour wear, natural, uh, natural complexion, 96% natural origin, origin uh, ingredients. I, you know, there's nothing wrong with natural origin, guys. I, I think that's a great thing, but poison ivy is also a natural origin ingredient. Just, just because somebody says it's natural, doesn't mean it's necessarily good for you. Just wanna put that out there. Uh, okay. Uh, reinvented the natural complexion, natural nude foundation, 24 hours, uh, formula enriched with 96% natural origin ingredients, concentrated floral skincare, so, eh. uh, fresh and lightweight, uh, offers a natural and luminous finish, no mask-like effect, allowing the skin to breathe morning to night, flawless, even for 24 hours, uh, skin is hydrated and radiant, 
as if plumped. I think it looks nice. It feels really good. Uh, I like the way it feels. It feels nice on the skin. And I can tell you right now, looking at it, I think the 1.5 is a good shade match. I think, um, yes, it is a little warm. You can see next to my neck, my neck is a little bit pinker, but it's not so much so that if I just, you know, kind of pull it down a little, I think it's fine. Um, I think it is going to oxidize a little, so we're going to, we're going to let that kind of uh, sit for a little bit, but I think shade wise, like intensity wise, I actually think the 1.5 is good. I think the one in this range anyway would have been too light because I don't think it's too light. And when I look at this on my hand, it's really interesting. I, I, it's just fascinating. These are, this shade here and this shade here are supposedly the same number. This is one CR and this is one CR and they are different. They are very, very different. So, I mean, you know, I get it, different formulas. But yeah, I think this looks nice. You guys let me know, but so far, I think the 1.5 was the right choice. Okay. Um, so, okay, we've got, we've got one thing down. Um, let's do obviously the mascara and the eyeshadows last. Um, lip and, I mean, lip liner and lipstick last. Um, eyes, we can, we can jump into the eyes. The, I don't have any new blushes or bronzers or anything. I'm gonna use Dior, of course. Um, let's see if I can find for the backstage, backstage face and body powder, no powder. Perfecting translucent powder, blurring effect, natural radiant finish, mattifying long wear. It says inspired by the energy backstage, creates an even naturally matte and luminous complexion, imperfections are blurred, shine is reduced, uh, multi-use powder can be worn alone on top of foundation to mattify, blur imperfections, and set makeup. Okay. Um, and you can also use it, it seems, as a bronzer. So if this is something that I really like, maybe I, you know, get a deeper shade, that would be pretty easy for me to do uh, because I got one N. So this isn't the lightest shade, but it is most certainly not the deepest. That is one N. Let's swatch it. That feels nice. Wow, you can't even see that on me. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me, and okay, you can kind of see it. It's basically the color of my skin. It's pretty freaking close. So let's, let's take, um, let's use, let's use my Lumiere brush, like the fluffy brush, and let's, let's just try it on the skin. Let's just do it on one half. Let's not do it on both sides. That way we can see the difference, if there is a difference. So I'm gonna just, da, 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 da. And this is pretty new powder, so I, I haven't seen any reviews on it yet or any anything. So, uh, yeah, it definitely mattified. Me personally, I like the side better because I like the dewiness, but that might just be me because I'm dry. <laughs> so you know, but it definitely it did that. It, it mattified. Doesn't feel uncomfortable. This side, this this side feels like do stickier. Okay. Um, all right. So let me get the um, some blush and bronzer. We'll go through those pretty quickly, um, and then we'll try out the eyes. Okay. I don't have my uh, new desk done yet, but I'm getting there. My beauty desk. So. Um, I still don't have enough space, but I will. I will soon. All right, so let's go in with the Dior Nude Luminizer. Um, this is shade 01. And again, this is not a new product, so we won't, we won't go too deep into this one. Let me just put it on. And They have come out, or they are coming out with like pink ones. 
Um, this is the Kyoto Akabeko brush. And I don't think they're here in the US. I think they are overseas in some places, but they are not here yet. Um, and I don't even know if they will come here, to be honest with you. There's been a lot of supposition lately about what's coming here and what isn't because there have been a lot of products that we thought were going to be here by now in the US and they're not here. This is the nude bronzer, uh, Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronzer in 01. And like, for example, the um, Burberry Runway Color Clash. I have been waiting for that for, I don't know, like a long time. It feels like a month. Maybe it's not that long. But anyway, um, and I know it's been available in other parts of the world. And then there's the um, YSL Couture Clutch, the Spring Clutch, which I really want. And that's available in Singapore and Australia. Nothing against Singapore and Australia, lovely, but <laughs> why don't we have it? Um, and then there's something else. I'm missing something else that we still don't have, but I'm just like, really? Um, so anyway, my uh, Will I Buy It will come out soon, so we'll talk about all this stuff. Uh, Rose Montaigne Blush, using the Akobeko brush again. And I'm gonna go very lightly with this. I just want a flush of color. This is a unboxing first impressions video, guys. I'm gonna do a lot more with all of these. Don't you worry, because it's Dior, and you know how much I love Dior, so. So far, so good though, right? I mean, I think the foundation looks really nice. I think it's a good shade for me. Um, it feels nice on the skin. I don't think it's too deep. I don't think it's too yellow. And the side definitely looks more mattified, but it's not super drastic. Okay, so let's uh, get a little bit closer. Let's look at the eyeshadows. Okay, so I did not pick up all the eyeshadows. I picked up three of the shades. I didn't pick up the black, the matte black. And I forgot the other shade. I think it was a reddish shade. I, I didn't pick that up. And one, because I had a feeling, now I, I might be terribly wrong, we're about to find out, but I had a feeling that these might be dupes for some of the shadows that are in the, the quince, and which is fine if that's, if that's what they are, that's totally okay. But I have all the quints, literally all 19, 19 of them. Did I say that? Yeah, I think it's 19 of them. So, you know, <laughs> um, if I do, then I don't really need all five, but I wanna show you them and to talk about the, the formula. This is the Poncho Satin. This is the Gold Star Glitter. And this is the Tool Satin. Now I'm gonna have to play around with all my quints to see like which shades these match because I'm gonna have to go through and figure out like which is which, and if they're in a different palette or whatever. This one, the gold one, I don't think I have this in any of them, but I might, um, because I don't think any of them in the quince was a glitter or described as such. I think I would have remembered that, <laughs> but you never know. That's the gold, that's the glitter. Here's the tool. It's like a really pretty peach. And then here is the poncho. Gorgeous brown. Now, if you remember, or if you maybe if you've, you haven't seen it, um, when I ranked all the videos, Plum Tool was my favorite quint. Um, I pulled out Plum Tool and in Plum Tool itself, there is no shade that looks like the Tool shade that's this peach shade. So that does not match that quint. 
I'm not saying it's not in one of the other quints. I'm going to have to go through all of the quints and figure that out, but it's possible. So I'm just, I'm gonna have to go look. Um, the poncho though, I think there may be a shade that is similar. This is poncho. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can swap, I'm gonna swatch the two browns in here. That's the deeper one. That's pretty freaking close. I kept going like, what's that smell? And I realized it's the, <laughs> it's the foundation. Uh, the medium shade in uh, poncho looks very similar. And the middle shade, that's gonna be too light. Yeah, the middle shade's too light, but let's try the medium shade. So that's the medium shade in poncho, the quint. And here's the shade poncho, the single. I think those look pretty identical, right? So we'll look over the next couple of days at tool, I'm sorry, tool and the gold. I don't think the gold is in anything. I think it would have remembered that shade. The peach looks familiar. Um, but off the top of my head, this is from, this is from Poncho. I'm just looking. No, that's more orange. Okay. We'll play around with the, I'll play around with the, the quince, but the brown, the Poncho shade is in, in my opinion, the Poncho quad. Here's the Poncho quad. Quint, here's the poncho quint. Here's the poncho single. Very, very similar. Not exact, very similar. Okay, let's do a quick little eye look with a quick little eye look. Let's do an eye look. I don't know what's going on with me today. Uh, so let's use the poncho. I'm gonna use the hourglass brush. I've been playing around with it a little bit. Oh, pigmented, okay, very pigmented. So formula wise, that does not let you down. <laughs> Jeez, okay. So poncho is a very uh, pigmented shade. I might pick up the black if it's still available. I don't know if these have sold out already. That's the thing, like you don't know, like sometimes you have a chance and um, you can really test things out and, and then you're like, oh, I really want this. You can watch other people use it. And then other times you don't get something because you're like, well, I don't really know. And the next thing you know, it's gone. <laughs> you're like, what? How is that, you know? And you're like, you did not make enough. Like, what is wrong with you? Um, and you know, I get it. It's hard to tell these days, like who's gonna buy, you know, makeup because of, well, everything. So I get that the companies are having a difficult time gauging like demand, but still like some of these products, you know, they sell out so fast and there's this fine line. Someone, I was talking to someone about this the other day about, you know, keeping something like limited edition and really not bringing it back. Cause what we all hate is the, it's not coming back. And then, you know, we buy it. And the next thing, you know, it's like introduced, you know, the next three years in a row. So you don't want that, but at the same time, like you need time. You can't buy everything at once. Um, and some products have been like that though. Like if you don't get them, they're just gone. <laughs> and you're like, well, I would have liked to have tried that, but okay. Uh, so yeah, so we'll see. I don't know how fast these are going. I assume these are limited. I think these are limited edition. I should check that. I'll put it down below. And uh, you know, if, if they go and they don't come back, that's annoying if you don't even get a chance to try them out. Um, okay, let's do the peach shade, the tall shade. I think it's interesting that it's tool, sorry, tool shade. Uh, I'm gonna use the FO6 by Chickahoto. I just got informed that my FO4 is on its way, which makes, no, my KZ4 is on its way, which makes me happy. KZ is one of the, lines that might be um, limited in the future. It's, they're re trying to restock, but you know, it's due to um, uh, sourcing. Why is my brain not working? Sourcing, so hopefully, 
hopefully they won't discontinue the line. It'll just be, you know, something that's harder to get. I'm fine with waiting for something to come if that's what it needs to be, but I hope they don't discontinue it because I wasn't able to pick up the entire set. I have a lot of the brushes, but not all of them. Okay, well, I think that looks really nice. I mean, Dior has not let me down yet in the last year, so I gotta say, I've, I felt pretty safe ordering this from Dior. Um, I don't usually order like directly from a Dior or directly from like a Tom Ford because they're hard, it's harder to return things um, and Tom Ford won't let you return anything. Uh, but I, I, I don't really return things anyway, but for this, like for Dior, I was like, I'm not gonna wanna return it. Like even if I don't like the color or the, or the foundation's too dark, like I'm not gonna return it. So anyway, um, yeah, that looks great. These colors are beautiful. They absolutely are gorgeous. Both these shades, I picked these, um, as I said, because, you know, I didn't get the black because I was like, well, do I really need a, um, do I really need another black? But if it's a good matte black, good matte black is actually nice to have. I probably already have one, but I don't know if it, I have one in Dior. I'd have to go check that out in, my other, in all the palettes. Um, but like I said, the poncho is, I think, in the poncho quad. This tool shade, I'm gonna have to go back and look, but even if I do have it, it's beautiful as a single. Um, the gold, we're about to find out. I'm gonna put this on the eye. It's really, oh, that's really pretty. Wow. Okay, I love the gold. I hope they come out with more glitter shades. That is stunning. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of that in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take the, the poncho shade and uh, run it under the lower lash line. That's, that is, a, these are all beautiful. They're, I mean, I, again, I'm not shocked. Um, so maybe I will pick up the other two shades. Do I need them? No. Do I want them? Yes. Um, my Will I Buy It, like I said, will be coming soon. There is a lot of Dior on its way. Um, the summer collection, the summer collection looks pretty vast. Uh, so, you know, more money to spend on um, Dior. Not that that's a bad thing. I mean, I, you know, that is what I'm here for. But at the same time, I'm like, could we slow down just the tiniest bit? Uh, obviously not, okay. So let's go in with that poncho shade and uh, just go on the lower lash line with that and then we'll uh, curl lashes and do mascara because we're gonna use the blue mascara. So I'm not gonna do a liner because I wanna be able to see the blue. I know, I mean like, I know you, there's a lot of you out there right now who are like, when are you gonna wear blue lash, a blue liner? But you know, blue uh, mascara. But here's the thing, life is short. You never know what tomorrow will bring. And if some blue mascara brings you happiness, why not? And I'm gonna bet, and we're about to find out, but I'm gonna bet that it's not too, like, I, I think it'll work, like even as a regular mascara. I, I, I think even people who don't like necessarily go in for like different shades of mascara, I think, I think we'll find out. All right, so let me curl my lashes really quick and then we'll do, then we'll do the blue. Okay, lashes are curled, blue mascara time. I'm very excited about this. So I love the uh, Dior Show mascara. I have the overcurl in black, which is like one of my favorites. I just think it's a really good formula and I really like it. Here's the blue. And it's blue. I mean, it's pretty freaking blue. Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Blue Mascara. Okay, so first of all, I will tell you that I don't think it looks that different, which may be a good thing. It feels good. It feels like it's separating and lengthening my lashes. I can see the blue, which is good because my lashes are dark. 
So a lot of times, like the terracotta uh, mascara in Chanel, it's a beautiful color, but it doesn't, it just kind of shows up as brown. And not that that's a bad thing, because, you know, brown mascara, a lot of people like brown mascara, but I had, I had wished you could see the metallic properties a little bit more. And I think on a, a person who has lighter lashes, you could. On my color lashes, you can't. You're, you're, it just looks brown. You're like, well, it's pretty, but it's brown, you know. And again, if you're gonna, if you're just gonna have brown mascara, then just have brown mascara, which they have, which Chanel has. Um, this was this was terracotta. It had like a sparkle to it. But then on the eyelashes, or at least my eyelashes, you couldn't tell. I'm definitely gonna have to take a picture of this outside because I think in the sunlight you're gonna be able to see this but indoors you won't one of the things i am interested in seeing is if it makes my eyeballs look whiter one of the things about a blue especially a blue like this a blue that has like a bright blue it will make white look whiter so it's why um if you wear a very bright blue liner on your eyes it will make your eyeballs look whiter and if you use a, a lipstick that has like a bluish undertone it doesn't have to be blue but like a red that has a blue base instead of an orange base your teeth will look whiter um so it'll be interesting to see if it has enough of a blue cast in it to make my eyes look bluer uh, whiter my uh, the white of my eyes look i think you'll be able to see the mascara a little more on the bottom lashes than the top lashes yeah you can Ooh, i like it <laughs> It's just a little fun, you know? I mean, not to be, not to be a downer, but you know, this year has kind of been hard. And it's, you know, it's great that we're getting all this great news about the vaccine and everything. I'm really happy about that. But still, I could use some, you know, just something purely fun. And I don't know, bright blue mascara is just fun for me. Yeah. Okay, let me show you, um, let me take my hair down because I think it'll make a difference. Okay, so there is the mascara and the eye look and the face, just don't have any uh, um, lip products on. I'll bring you in close to show you the eyeshadow and the mascara. I think you can definitely see this blue and I really like it, like a lot. I don't know necessarily if it goes with this color story because I have a very neutral color story on my eyes, but I don't really care. <laughs> I really like it. It's just different enough, you know? It's it's fun, I really like it. All right, let me bring you in. Okay, so let me put my head down so you can like see the lashes. Um, see if that... I love the blue mascara. I like this mascara this is a good mascara okay so now we have on full face except for lips so let's move to the lip liners let me show you the two shades and like i said guys don't worry i'm gonna do lots more videos this is an unboxing first impressions um the lip liners like i said are reformulated so this is a new formula there are um sharpeners which is nice i always like sharpener saint germain Oh, that's a pretty color. It's like a mm, brownie purple. Really like that one. I think this is new look or nude look or nude. <laughs> uh, nude look. Okay. Nude look. Very much a pinky beige. Love them both. Love the feel. Feel is awesome. So for today, we'll use the, the lighter shade, but I definitely want to pick up more of these. 
I'd like to see them in store because I'd like to get one that's a little bit more brown. These are both very cool toned, which are which is fine. But I'd like to try to pick up a warm toned one. It's just too hard to do on the site. It's the site. The site's not bad. It's not the site's fault. It's it's like impossible to show a color. Pro anyway, I need to do it in person. Feels good going on. Yeah, definitely goes pink on me. Everything does. Feels really nice. Went on very smoothly, but it feels like it's sticking. You know what I mean? Like in a good way that it's not, that it has enough wax that it's like gonna hold the, the color. Okay, good, good, good. Um, like I said, I need to find like a brownier, warmer shade. Um, not that the shade is bad, but I like to have different, you know, shades. Um, I just, I think I have to go in person to try to find that because I, I, I very much doubt I'd be able to pick it out on the doer site. Maybe I could on the, um, like the Nordstrom site or the Sephora site, but on the doer site, I don't think I could do it. Maybe the other sites are more accurate. Um, okay. So let's look at three different shades that I have here. The, um, let's see, we've got. The Promenade, which is a satin. I wanted to show, I wanted to get one in each of the categories. I did not get matte because I'm just not, I'm not gonna wear matte. Velvet, yes, but matte, I'm, I had to be honest with myself. Um, this is Promenade, which I think is perfect for me. Love that jade, love it, love it, love it. This is the Beige Couture and this is the Velvet. Let me show you what the velvet looks like because it's not, I, you've seen the satins, but this is the velvet. Looks like velvet, kind of, compared to a satin, which was the promenade. Packaging is the same. You've got the bullet and the CD on front, on the front. These are all the same packaging. All right, so let's try the um, Beige Couture. It's 220 is the shade number. Oh, that's a good shade for me. Maybe we do that one today. We'll see. Nice, you know, pinky nude, beige color, <laughs> but good choice. Um, and that's the Velvet. And then last is the Metallic Formula, which I'm really excited to try. This is in 22, it's 212. I'll show it to you in just a second. Oh, I really like that one. That's two two. And again, if I was basing this on the color names, I would be in so much trouble because two two is a purple palette in the eyeshadow, and that is certainly not purple. It actually it's a little bit warmer on me. So this is Promenade. This is um, Beige Couture and tutu, metallic, uh, matte, and I'm sorry, m uh, velvet and satin. Let's use the metallic, the tutu, see how that works. Well, I love, I love the formula and I think the metallic is great and I love the shade I think with the lip liner, it's too cool for the eye look, but that's okay. Cause today we're not really trying to do a look. We're trying to, you know, put different things together. So the metallic sheen though, I really like, it's not too much. Like it's not too metallic. It's not eighties metallic. It's just metallic, which I think is nice. Um, yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks really good. Like I said, it's too pink for the gold in the eye. Um, I think I would need a warmer shade, maybe the promenade. I'm not even sure that's like, things go really pink on me. So I think I'd want something a little bit more either neutral, neutral or like warm leaning, which I don't have in any of these liners. So I only picked up the two liners. If you guys have the new liners, the new formulation, and you have a shade that you think is warmer, let me know. Cause I'd love to know. Um, and that you like, cause I'd pick it up on your recommendation. Um, and if not, I'll, I'll start looking like at different sites and see if I can figure out which one is warm. And if not, then I'll just go into a store. But I can say overall, I mean, even though I don't really love the match of the lipstick and the shades to the eyes, I love the look. 
I mean, like, overall, everything is good. I can't say that there's anything I don't like. Um, I think this foundation shade is good for me. I mean, you guys let me know, but I think it looks nice. Um, yeah, I think it looks really nice. The formula looks great on my skin, too. This is the side, remember, without any powder. I have no powder on this side. This is the side with the um, backstage powder. We're going to play around with this for a little bit. This is in one neutral. And so powder, no powder. Powder, no powder. I need to wear it for a while. I mean, that, that's part of it. I need to wear it throughout the day. Um, personally, I like it without the powder, but you know, I want to play around with this powder and see if I can use it by itself, which is kind of a nice idea. The eyeshadows are gorgeous, gorgeous. I do want the, I do want the other two shades now, I have to say, and I might just go get them. This gold, the gold glitter, if you're only going to get one shade, get that one. I mean, that's, that's very impressive. Um, the mascara, I love it. I mean, I, I love the formula already, but I love the blue. I just do. I'm a, I'm a dork. I got it, but I love it. The formula of the lip liners, they seem really good. Uh, I just need to find, and the, the two shades I got, I like. It's not like I don't like the Saint Germain or the um, nude look. I think they're both good. They're just a little too, like, I, I would like one. I was hoping to get one that was warm, one that was cool. So I just need to find one that's warm. So I have like three, which would be perfect. Um, Promenade, love the shade. Beige Couture, love the shade. Tutu, love the shade. So I actually lucked out because I picked them completely, to be honest, at random. I mean, I tried to tell by the, sh you'll see, if you go to the Dior site and you pick out the shades, it's really hard. So freaking hard. Um, yeah. I, this has been a really good haul. I'm kind of stunned. I don't know what to say. Uh, and then, of course, I have the bronzer, illuminator, uh, and blush on that, you know, Dior, I, Dior products I had before. But, um, yeah, I think it looks nice, guys. I mean, tell me if you think differently. You know, I always, I'm very open to honest and um, instructive feedback. I always ask that everybody be polite to one another and, you know, kind, but you let me know if you don't think it looks good you know give me a good reason but i i think it looks nice it feels nice this side definitely feels like mattified like you know dry not drier but it doesn't feel dry it doesn't it doesn't hurt it just feels like it's this side still feels more like tacky it's not tacky but you know what i mean this side definitely feels like there's been powder on it it doesn't look like it though i mean i don't think that looks too powdered. What do you think? <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, so I'm really happy. I need to get more liners, get more lipsticks, which I don't need, um, but I'm happy with everything I picked up. I'll be playing around a lot more with this, and when I get the primer in the mail, which should be, I actually should have been yesterday, but anyway, as soon as I get it, I will make sure that I, I use it and give you my thoughts, so. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.